Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel, thank you for tuning in, and welcome to this video. Of course, we are continuing the Rascal Flatts discography review, where I cover every single one of their studio albums that I haven't previously touched before on this channel, and give them a throwback review. So last time we touched on 2000's self-titled de debut, and now of course we're here to talk about the follow-up, 2002's Melt. Released on October 29, 2002 on Lyric Sheet Records, this album has since sold over 3 million copies in the United States alone. This was the last album that the Flats did not produce. Every subsequent album was co-produced or produced entirely by the band themselves. And uh, to summate how this album plays out, if the band's eponymous self-titled debut album is about them losing sight of the shore and taking the first steps in relationships and life in general, which a lot of the songs on that album touch base on, Melt is definitely defined by the kinds of moments and sensations that occur in the moments after. While the Flats themselves may have not been building families when this album was recorded, plenty of songs on here weave a story of thankfulness for wherever the nameless muse in the lyrics has taken the narrator. And who was the narrator, of course? the otherworldly capable Gary Lovox on lead vocals. Coupling that with some steamy ballads that fit perfectly into the aesthetic and overarching tone of the album and minimal outliers, and you've got a particularly cohesive album from an act that was still relatively new at the time. So, the album begins with These Days, which is the band's very first number one hit. Gary sings of catching up with the former flame that... Uh, has changed a lot, and he's taken aback by how much she's changed. Wow, your hair got so long, he sings. And that's complemented by some riveting string sections and vibrant guitars throughout. Too Good Is True, the track right after. This kind of song template would go on to rest at the core of the Flats' wheelhouse in later years. Gary almost can't believe that his woman belongs to him and that things have worked out. And this was a live show staple in the Flats' formative years. I Melt, uh, complemented by Jodon Shimmery electric guitar work on the bridge. It's the perfect supplement to the song's broader composition and aesthetic. While Rascal Flatts treats the listener to a variety of adulatory praises of the women in their life, this one swells with enough steamy adult contemporary pulsation to warrant frequent re revisits on Valentine's Day, if that's what you're interested in. And then Mayberry, Saturn, and Nostalgia. The Flats do this one well. Based off the fictional town of the same name featured in the Andy Griffith show, Gary and the crew long for days gone by and when times were simpler. And again, just to hearken to some of the imagery in the chorus, uh, sipping on an ice cold cherry coke where everything is black and white, sitting on a porch swing where people pass by and they call you by their first name. Love You Out Loud is Rascal Flatts doing what Rascal Flatts do, does best, making love sound easy. Gary loves his woman so much he literally wants the whole world to know, and he'll scream it from the rooftops if he has to. Another taste of Saturn to Lush that, as mentioned, the Flats would learn to do so well on the later albums. Dry County Girl is occupied by one of Gary's best vocal performances on this album, and some vibrant imagery. I get drunk just holding her hand. I get high thinking I could be her man. Gary sings of the girl next door who has turned his life upside down. Like I Am sees Gary thanking his woman for embracing his faults and not merely loving him through them and in spite of them, but because of them. And th this is the kind of lush love story that I feel is sorely missing on country radio today. A song about loving your partner, not just in spite of whatever faults and drawbacks they have, but because of that. And learning to appreciate them for who they are and not trying to change them into something that you you might see you might want them to be you uh it's my understanding that tim mcgraw passed on this song i'll get back to that in just a second that was a little piece of trivia like i am uh, is the, the kind of lyrical content featured here we'll revisit in the next couple of songs so with the song you it's my understanding that tim mcgraw passed on the song it relies heavily on the on the band's amazing crescendoing vocal harmonies silky guitar plucks in the first verse with some neo-traditional country c uh, compositions and overtones there and then we get to Fallen Upside Down, still to this day the shortest song in the Rascal Vass discography, only two and a half minutes long. This one wastes no time. We hit that liftoff chorus 19 seconds in, and it's steamy like some of the song, previous songs in this album, and with some more lush imagery, you lift me up like a kite on a string, like a bird on newfound wings. Gary's, Gary's vocal runs are just so goddamn great, moving up and down the scales like a seasoned virtuoso. I mean, it's this is of course my opinion, I think he's the best country music singer ever 
you know, I'm a, I'm a Rascal Flats fanboy, if y'all didn't know by now, so I'm just going to throw a hot take out there. And I feel even as early as 2002, he was already up there with the best of them. He is just an amazing vocalist. I don't care what any of y'all say. He's one of the best fucking singers on this planet. Shine On continues where, like, like I am, picked off. With some pleasant acoustic guitars on the intro, continuing the pad treaded by songs like Like I Am, Gary expressing more thankfulness to his woman for seeing him through the good times and the bad, and that leaves us with the closing cut, My Worst Fear. This has to be the most interesting song on this album. Gary sings of wanting his lover to leave, or wanting to leave her behind, but then she gives him a reason to stay, and now he's feeling conflicted emotions. You finally gave me one good reason not to go. Gary had previously thought that she didn't love him, but then one night she uh, kisses him while he's sleeping, and really makes the case for, you know, her loving him. And all of a sudden it, it's out of left field. He, he was so ready to leave because he thought that he, she didn't love him anymore. But now apparently she does again to repeat, as he repeats throughout the song, you finally gave me one good reason not to go. And that closes the album. I, which I think is a good way to close down because it's definitely probably the most interesting cut on here. One of the most interesting cuts in the early Rascal Flats canon, and with that, Melt draws to a close. So like its predecessor, I'm going to give Melt a 4.5 out of 5. So again, th this may not reach the height of some of the band's future magnum opuses. This definitely set the stage for them, with them really beginning to hone their craft, doing what they do best, fitting fitting the, the content and the compositions that at their feet right into their wheelhouse and putting their own unique niche and identity on it. Uh, again, it's Rascal Flatts doing Rascal Flatts. So 4.5 out of 5. If you enjoyed this video, smack the like button, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the bell to get notified. Go Jam to Rascal Flatts, and I'll see you soon.